Welcome to Brain Date, the dating game show where we take the contestants' thought patterns, throw in the material of love, and find out who suits who. I am the Gold Brain, and it's time to meet the contestants. First we have Jake, and after his appearance today, he's rushing off to audition for a movie. Um, it's a feature film called Ghosts, and I'm auditioning for a lead role, so hopefully I'll get it. Do they have to kill you first? <laughs> <laughs> and next on the Blue Brains is Ben. And ben had his first kiss when seven, from an older woman who's never really quite recovered. <laughs> no, it was actually after school care and we were playing Let's Pretend and uh, I was the boyfriend and she was the girlfriend and she took me behind a tree and said we had to kiss, so yeah. It was pretty lame, just you know, a couple of quick pecks on a lip, but um, yeah, scarred me forever. And the final contestant on the Blue Brains is Digby and he's um, made lots of shorts and docos. The latest one would have been a short um, called Speak Out, which I actually entered into a competition and it got shortlisted for um, the Youth Filmmakers Queensland Festival which is pretty cool, so yeah. On the Pink Brains, we have Sophia, and she's got aspirations to be an air hostess. Virgin? Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's one of my aspirations. I don't know if I'm tall enough to become an air hostess because you need certain height requirements. So um, maybe I'll apply for the Asian Airlines instead. <laughs> <laughs> and the next on the Pink Brains is uh, Casey. And Casey's actually a journalist from the US. Desperately trying to get a green card over here, so we yeah. <laughs> decided brain date dating show was the way to go. Is that true? Please. <laughs> what kind of journalism? Are you uh, actually, right now I'm writing for a new age magazine. It's interesting, they have a meditation room. The final contestant on the pink brains is Kat, and she's a crazy Star Wars nut. I'm just about to get uh, my first Star Wars tattoo, actually, the Rebel Alliance symbol. Whereabouts is your Rebel Alliance <laughs> <laughs> located? <laughs> It's going to be very right. small and tasteful. The rules of brain date are very simple. First we show the contestants a prompt, and then after seeing or hearing the prompt, they write down the first thing that comes to mind. We compare answers, and if two contestants wrote down the same thing, then they match and score a point. You can match with more than one other person in each particular game, and those contestants who score the most matches together at the end of the show win. Get started and in this first question we're going to show the contestants three pictures and they have to say which one did they find most difficult to give up Jake which of those three things did you find most difficult to give up <laughs> see some blokes never quite get over it today <laughs> And Ben, how about you? I had to agree with him, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they say that breasts and electric trains are in common. They're both meant for children, but older men always want to play with them as well. <laughs> Big B. I'm going to take the alternative approach, and I went with B, my teddy bear. Aww. I know. If Sophia has got um, the boob or the bear, <laughs> then she scores a match. Sophia. Uh, teddy bear. Teddy bear. Yeah. Fantastic. So Sophia and Digby score a match. Let's see what Casey had. Teddy bear. I still sleep with one. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to rectify that after this today's episode, Casey. And Kat, which one did you go for? Teddy bear. Teddy bear. Aww. So Digby, we've done well with the ladies. Obviously knows the way to a woman's heart. So in this next question, I want all the contestants to close their eyes. We're going to play them three sounds, and then we want them to say which ones sums up what they're like in the bedroom. We'll see what uh, yeah, Sophia that's... said. Which one sounded like what you're like in the bedroom? Um, see. <laughs> see, cheering. Yes, I like to keep it exciting. And, fun. <laughs> and it's always good to have those extra people present, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Public places. Casey, how about you? See. <laughs> see. Um, well, at least I like to top this off. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some live wires in the big brains. Yeah. And Kat? <laughs> See, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to get you too excited if I cheer. Is it? <laughs> but let's see if we have any matching from the blue brains. Jake, see, see. Ben, how'd you go? 
<laughs> well, I say six, well, for me, six is like a rock show. I can't do it well unless there's 10,000 people are cheering me <laughs> on. So. And Digby, how do you go? Well, I'm going to have to say that when I'm in the bedroom, I like to sleep. So I'm going to go with A. Well, that's evened up the scores because everybody else matched except for Digby in that <laughs> occasion. <laughs> and in this next question, we're going to show the contestants two pictures and they have to say which one is them. Ben, apples or oranges? I went with oranges. You just can't beat them. They're great in everything. They're great in juice. They're great with alcohol and they're great to eat on their own. <laughs> and Digby, how about you? Apples or oranges? I went apples. I don't know why, I just did. Mm -hmm. Jake? Oh. Apples. A. Okay. Casey, how about you? Orange. Oranges. Oh. Casey and Ben <laughs> score another point. There's a bit of an orange revolution going on. <laughs> and Kat, how about you? Oranges as well. So again, Ben is scoring some more matches with the pink brains. And Sophia, apples or oranges? Oranges. <laughs> oranges. We're all one person. Yeah. <laughs> and in this final question in this round, we're going to play the contestants a video. And they have to say which situation they fear the most. I know we've just met, but I think I love you. The name's Andrew. I know we've just met, but I'm pretty sure I hate you. Let's see what drives fear into Casey's heart. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Running away from love. And Kat, how about you? <laughs> Running away from love too. And Sophia? Um, who? <laughs> I don't want to wake up next to someone saying, what the? <laughs> She's just pretending to have morals. <laughs> <laughs> that certainly won't get you any extra points on brain days. <laughs> ben, which of those situations do you fear? Well, I went for C. Because if someone hates you, they'll tell lies about you. Know, I don't want to tell all their friends about how bad I was in bed, because that would just be, you know, an absolute lie. <laughs> Big B, how would you go? Uh, I went for B. Um, I don't know, I like to keep it, you know, a little mysterious. Don't like anyone really knowing who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Just under the line, you know. So you get a match with Sophia and Jake. Surprise, surprise. <coughs> see. So there we go. We've got the males fearing hate and the pink brains fearing love. <laughs> but that brings us to the end of the fourth round. Ben is being a love monster, but it's still a very close game. So we'll see you back here for round two on Brain Date. you do. I think it's really important to actually have an interesting courtship and what people interpret as romantic actually isn't romantic. Personally, getting a bunch of roses is so unimaginative. Getting a bunch of roses um, from someone stark naked at your door is the money. It's where you put them. <laughs>